dude, she was going like 35 miles an hour. All you saw was like knuckles and a bun. <laughs> Poor Bessie, man. What kind of grown man still names his car? You do. Yeah, well, I've had Malik since I was 17. That's totally different. Don't worry about Kelso. His wife can drive him. His wife hates him. Morning, Skipper. I'm so dead. Huh. Uh, Mr. Corman, I'm afraid you have Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. It is a very rare form of... of cancer. Yeah. I think I had that in college once. This is Dr. Zeltzer. He is the finest oncologist we have on staff. Really? Do you think so? Yeah, I do. Thank you. So where do we start? Well, uh, first off, we need to... B better than Leventhal? Leventhal's a quack. You're the guy. You're the man. You can do it. Bless you. That was some catch. The patient shows almost no symptoms. You called for a bone marrow biopsy? What made you even think to do that? How about he was unbelievably annoying and I wanted to scare him so bad that he'd never come back in my hospital again? Oh, don't worry, Dr. Zelter. He's only kidding. <laughs> oh, stupid. See, that's where Leventhal has the edge. He would have got that. The man's hilarious. Well, of course, he wouldn't be laughing so hard if he knew I was sleeping with his wife. <laughs> What? Nothing. Then what's with the look? I have a crook in my neck. See, uh, since I no longer have any furniture for my new place, I had to sleep in my tub last night. Oh, how was your date? The Italian people are really good at making sauce. Mm. Fantastic. You're such an ass. Could you speak up? Mr. Roberts doesn't hear so well. Lauren, if you're looking for your beeswax, none of that is over here, OK? Now she all may. Look, I really just needed your help last night. You completely bailed on me. You're the one that drew all these lines up, said that we're not in a relationship right now. JD, I wasn't looking for a boyfriend last night. I was looking for a friend. I guess she told him. Gotta go. Ow. I was thinking about what you said. And, uh, you're right. A bunch of kids don't want to hear about being a janitor. I never said that. It's OK, because instead, I'm going to be a doctor. I brought some stuff from your locker, our locker. And um, listen, if I don't get it back to you within like two days, consider it gone. Dr. Kelso, I am so sorry.